Building with textiles is a tradition which goes back thousands of years, from yurts made out of animal skins through to the Roman shade structures installed at the Colosseum. But the inclusion of technical fabrics within mainstream architecture has a more recent history. In the 1960s, German architect Fry Otto pushed the boundaries of membrane technology and opened people's eyes to what can be created with tensile fabric. Twenty years later, Architen Landro was founded with the aim of building technically advanced and aesthetically beautiful fabric architecture. The Materials of Tensile Architecture The materials used to create tensile architecture are constantly in development. As sustainability and performance issues become more and more important, we demand more and more from the technical fabrics we use. The biologically based woven cotton and canvas materials which were used to create the first fabric structures have been replaced by some of the world's most technical man-made fabrics to achieve lasting, permanent fabric architecture. Modern coated fabrics have similar aesthetic properties but offer significant performance advantages such as increased strength, ease of cleaning, printability, solar shading and acoustic characteristics. Modern coated fabrics will also resist the absorption of atmospheric moisture, resulting in much longer lifespans and better dimensional stability. In general, we use two generic types of fabrics, structural coated fabrics and mesh fabrics. For external use, the coated fabrics most commonly used are PVC coated polyester, PTFE coated glass cloth and silicon coated glass cloth. They all offer differing properties for strength, durability, translucency and, of course, cost. By comparing these with the client's requirements, we can help decide the optimum material for any project. PVC-coated polyester scores well when measured in terms of its strength. It is easy to dismantle and print on, is relatively cost-effective and requires moderate maintenance. However, it doesn't last as long and has a lower light transmission than other available fabrics. In contrast, PTFE coated glass cloth offers durability, strength and class O flame retardancy. However, it is not suitable for demountable structures and is one of the more expensive fabrics we offer. PTFE coated glass cloth is often used in harsh climates, such as desert environments, due to its ability to withstand high levels of UV and sand abrasion. For projects where light transmission is important, silicon coated glass cloth is a viable option. Offering many of the same properties as PTFE coated glass cloth, silicon has the added advantage of requiring little maintenance and offering high translucency. The forms of tensile architecture. While it is possible to have a flat tensile membrane, the key to strength and stability in tensile architecture lies in the principles of double curvature. Tensile membranes can create the most complex dynamic and fluid of shapes. However, the basics lie in four geometric forms, the hyperbolic paraboloid or hyper, the conic, the barrel vault and the inflatable. The uses and benefits of fabric architecture. Making a statement. It's undeniable that a well-designed fabric structure can make a big statement. The construction of London's Millennium Dome, Denver International Airport and Ashford Designer Outlet all include iconic tensile fabric structures for exactly this purpose. The fabric is incredibly useful within building design because it lets you bring bespoke dynamic shapes to an otherwise rudimentary structure. It also provides a good plateau for uh, brand image and branding, as well as a focal point. The entrance canopy at the venue in Bristol is a great example of how a tensile fabric structure can be practical whilst creating an eye-catching centerpiece, conveying a corporate identity and transforming an otherwise regular building into something a little more special. Its size and depth provide coverage for cinema goers and passers-by to shelter from the inclement British weather. But in addition, note how the sculptural eye-catching form and colour-changing lighting make it stand out against the other boxy buildings. Whether it's an entrance canopy, an artistic sculpture or a piece of point-of-sale material, the principle is the same. Tensile fabric structures allow creativity and practicality. Installation A conventional building construction means that the builder arrives on site, builds his foundations and builds a building up. 
Our industry is not like that at all. We fabricate most of the components off site. So in other words, we bring to site in kit form the building and assemble on site. The biggest advantage of that is that we are not getting in anybody's road during the construction phase and it means our time on site is relatively short. As the majority of manufacture occurs off-site, the installation of a tensile fabric structure is fast in comparison to other building materials. Designing and manufacturing tensile structures which are practical for erection is essential. Therefore, components, connections, tolerances, weight and sizes are all considered from the early stage. The majority of an ALA project is actually off-site, not on-site. And as such, the design and manufacture are critical to a successful installation. On the design side, we need to consider not only the architectural requirements, but also we need to look at the installation method and consider how this is going to be achieved. Installation of a tensile membrane requires an understanding of the material and its behavior. During the design and fabrication process, the membrane is tested and patterns adjusted to compensate for the inherent stretch in the fabric. When first delivered to the site, the membrane is smaller than required and only takes its intended size and form once tensioned into place using one of the many erection methods we can adopt. The skill and coordination of site operations are critical to the success of a project. Technical knowledge and experience of the construction and installation process often involves potentially high-risk operations with demanding access requirements or complex lifting operations. There's two main skills that are required from site crews, is safety and also competence in um, the work that's being carried out. Safety is paramount. All our installers are qualified rope access technicians. They all got extensive experience in the use of mobile plant and working at height. The other requirement is that they're competent in the installation of fabric, various different fabrics. Uh, handled in different ways. PVC, PTFE and ETFE are all handled in, in different ways. Depending on the type of canopy or structure being installed, installation methods can vary. Some structures have masts which are hydraulically jacked up or extended with a telescopic section in order to tension the membrane and support the structure. Smaller structures can have corners pulled out with rigging screws, U-bolts or by shortening the perimeter mast to tie back cables. Individual scallops can also be tensioned by shortening the edge cable where it connects to the membrane plate. A very common method is to pull panels into parallel luff tracks and tension by drawing out the corner plates that slides inside the luff track. Conclusion Tensile architecture has been uh, fairly futuristic for, since its inception, um, using materials such as PTFE, which was originally engineered for, the, for NASA and the space industry. One of the great things about working in an in a industry like this is you can never fail to be inspired by the weird and wonderful designs and ideas that people come to you with. There's nothing we like more than a challenge to take something that looks impossible and make it possible. Fabric is now more incorporated into architecture. We are asked to make fabric work in ever difficult circumstances. That's part of the attraction that we have to have the ability to um, to make sure that we do end up with a finished structure that is exactly what we hope it'll be and what the client expects. Um, that's the job we do here to make the dream come true. As for the future, Fabrics are changing, the methods that we install, manufacture and design are all changing. And as technology gets better, our job to a certain extent gets easier. But no doubt our clients will continue to make things more and more complicated and we will revel in the challenge. This presentation has covered the basics in what is, to a certain extent, a limitless and unbounded industry. The principles described apply to the majority of tensile fabric structures, but with so many possibilities, methods will differ from project to project and application to application. There is a wealth of information available.
available to you in our technical library. We are always keen to discuss new and exciting projects, so please give us a call.